very important video. What up, fellas? You know who it is. Ladies, you know who it is. It's Daddy Zeke. So, I was listening to the Roommates po podcast. Check these guys out. They have some very important podcasts and very important people coming to their channel and share a lot of knowledge. And I was watching their interview with Kevin Samuels. I believe that's his last name is. Very knowledgeable guy. And it got me th into thinking about making this video. One of the points that they, that they made, that he made, Kevin made. And he said, four out of five black women in the, in the United States are obese. What does that leave you with? That leaves you with black men and every other men who would be attracted to black women going after other race of women, aka white women, Hispanic women, Asian women. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Here's where it gets tricky. When you have a group of women, a group of women, for example, the black group of women, being overweight like that, and majority of them are, 80% of black women are overweight here, automatically other groups of women who are not as obese, for example, the white women, white, white group of women, they, are, they don't have a rate of 80% being overweight. It's a lot lower than that. Asian women, most of them are petite. Now, Hispanic women, most of them also are overweight, but not as high of a number as 80%. 80% of Hispanic women are not overweight. The number is lower than that. So automatically, these other groups of women, Asian, white, Hispanic, these women are now having way more options than they did when other men had black women to choose from as well. Or other men were attracted to more black women as well. Back in those times. What times am I referring, referring to? 50, 60 years ago. You see a lot of more and more interracial, interracial marriages and hookups and relationships are, are, are happening now. Yeah, it's, also, it's, it's because social media and the generation that we live in today has become more acceptable to those kind of things. Sure, I'll give you that. But at the same time, you don't think that black men are tired of black women? They're, they're fleeting away from their own kinds of women. And black men want to date black women. I don't. I hate talking about race or whatever, but this, this, but this is a very important point. So that's why you see a lot of these girls, these white girls or hot girls, let's just say hot, attractive women, are having not only their own race of men going after them, but also multiple other races of men coming after them. Because those races of women are just not worth it. My title says something. What is it? Fuck your body positivity. Ladies, sure, you can preach this body positivity all day long till the, till the cows come home. They can make all sorts of commercial, all sorts of Facebook posts, all sorts of Instagram uh, ads, YouTube ads, uh, uh, preaching how... Uh, obese women are acceptable how they're beautiful how they're attractive this and the other but at the end of the day we men are the consumers and we're not going to consume something if we are not attracted to it even if there's millions and millions of dollars are being spent to push that agenda into the mainstream media that's just not gonna happen we want women who are in shape who are feminine who are good-looking you want guys who are successful, who have status, and decent looking. I'm not, this is where, I, this, is, this is why I say we men are the prize and we men have it better. Because yeah, sure, she has all the upfront attention from age 16 to 24, but we men have it all in the back end if we stay on our grind. Because our look is not, our looks are not the only thing we're, we have to offer to a woman. A woman look at a lot more than just our looks to verify if she wants us or not. We on the other hand, men on the other hand, mainly are attracted to a woman's looks. 
No, men are not shallow. I can, I can say the same thing about women and call women shallow as well. I can say, oh, every woman is a gold digging bitch. You, you want me because of my wallet, so you're shallow as well. No, that would be stupid of me to say that because that's just how nature has created us. We're different. We want different things from the opposite sex. Point blank, period. 50, 60 years ago, the average weight of a man was 166, 165, around there. And, his, and, and the average height of a man was, what was it? 5'9", I believe, 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, the average weight of a woman was 120, 5'4". Now, men's weight has gone up 5 pounds in the in average. While the average, so what's 5 pounds added to 166? What is that? 171, right? Now, is my math right? Yeah, okay. Man, I had a long day. But now, women's average weight have gone from 120 pounds to 168 pounds. That is just bizarre. That is unacceptable, ladies. That is absolutely unacceptable. And you want to preach here, you want to sit here and preach and say, oh, uh, I, I'm a strong and independent woman. If you don't deserve me, at my, if you don't want me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. Bitch, that is, that is your best. Why? Because you are fucking lazy. And you and you you want to stay where you are because it's comfortable losing weight is not easy i know i've been on i've been on the fat end of the scale i know it's hard to believe but i've been fat before and now i'm jacked so losing fat losing weight is not easy so back to the point so this is why you see the attractive women has triple the amount of options which is why these women are being the pickiest and they want the top of the top of the top tier of men and that's why all the other men are being frustrated because they want the attractive women and by attractive i mean just an adjustable six seven eight nine i'm not even going to talk about the dimes the tens we already know that they are the the dimes just belong to the streets. They belong to the community. That she don't belong to you anymore in today's world, in today's time. So a man would be just fine if he, if, even if he has a, an adjustable six, he'll be content with that. But a woman won't. If she's a nine, oh man, it's game over for her because she's going to be so picky and so miserable because all she has is nothing but options, 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 and options, and it fucks with her head. You can't decide what you want when you have that many options. I get it. But you have to be smart with your, with your options, ladies. So, when all the men are flocking after these good-looking women, that leaves the fat women, anything below a six, even more frustrated. See, men are frustrated because men are not getting because we're just simply getting rejected more and more way more than women are right and we don't even get that much attention on our social media a four who's a woman a woman who looks like a four gets way more likes on her instagram pictures than a guy who's a four that's facts so eventually and this rejection starts from a very early age we boys we men when we are in our teens when, uh, when we go through puberty and our drive, our testosterone, our sex drive just goes off the roof. We want to fuck everything that's moving around us. That's when we start to get rejected by women. So it doesn't take us that long to get used to the reality. That's why, yes, we are frustrated. Especially if you consider yourself as an incel. You're very frustrated, I get it. But I promise you, you, you will be nowhere near frustrated as a woman who's in her 30s or 28 or 27 out of college and are not being able to pair bond with any guy. Why? Because her headspace is not there anymore. And slash or her looks even her looks went down the toilet even more. Now she doesn't have as many options that she did when she was in, in college because the pool of men that was around her shrank. And now she's even more frustrated. And now for the first time, she's having to wake up to, to the reality about what men really want. What, these bitches don't even know what men want. They think all we want to do is fuck. 
Sure, that's a great, that's a, that's, that's a really big aspect of a relationship. Sure, that's very important. But if you want to, if a man, if a high value man, high value husband, if he's looking for a wifey material, that is not the only thing he's going to be looking for. Your looks are not going to, going to be the only thing he's looking for. But that will be the first thing he looks for. I promise you that. So once you have that the looks department done, then he's going to go down the list and check out other boxes if you meet those requirements for him or not. Just like how you would as well. He's good looking. He has money. He has status. He's a provider. He's a securer or he can provide security. You'll check out all these boxes. He has his own set of boxes as well to check out. So that's why since we men start getting used to the reality of getting rejected at a lot earlier age than women do. Why? Because when women are younger, they're more attractive than when they're older. And when men are younger, they're not as successful as they would be when they're older. So that's why women get all the attention when they're younger and men get all the attention when they're older if he gets his shit together. And if he doesn't get distracted, sidetracked, and uh, keeps his head straight. So that's why we're used to this rejection process at a, uh, starting from a lot earlier age because it started from a lot earlier age. But you women don't. And that's why you're way more frustrated than men are. And it's your own damn fault, ladies. This Everybody gets a participation trophy if you're in the 8th place, 7th place, 6th place. You're still a winner. Bullshit mentality, bullshit ideology doesn't apply in the real world. There's clear-cut winners. There's clear-cut losers. And we as a society have set that standard as well. All we're doing right now is putting a facade so that everybody gets accepted, so that everybody buys into your bullshit agenda, and so you keep making more and more money. That's the only reason why you're pushing this agenda. I know it, you know it. You're not fooling anybody here. So, this is why you'll see, I even talked about it in one of my previous videos. I titled it, The Truth About Women from Age 28 to uh, Age 18 to 24. This is why you'll see good looking women in that age range has the most amount of options. And that's because the other women even though they're getting sex. Ladies, please understand and please accept that just because I'm coming over and fucking your brains out, not even fucking your brains out, I'm just trying to get my, I'm just trying to bust a nut, bust a quick nut. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not going to take my time. I'm not going to, I don't even give a fuck if you come or not. I'm, and I'm going to make sure I bust as soon as I can. I'm not even going to worry about lasting any longer than I need to. If, if, if it takes 30 seconds for me to bust, I'll bust with you in 30 seconds. Why? Because it was a slow Tuesday for me and all my other hot girls that I, used to, that I usually hang out with are busy sucking other, do, other dicks off or doing whatever the fuck they're doing. So just because I'm coming over and banging you out does not mean you have any value. A woman's value is not measured by how many guys she sleeps with. A man's value is measured by by how many girls he sleeps with. Why? Because we all know it takes a lot more effort to sleep with women than it does for a woman to sleep with men. For a woman to sleep with men. Why? Because all she has to do is find, find a dude from her phone, send, t s text him, hey, come over, or hey, I want to come over. That's it. He's going to get down on his knees and say, yes, baby, right now. Come on over. I'm waiting. But it doesn't work the other way around. A man can't just text a girl who he never went out on a date with and even let's say they've been on a couple of dates even then he can't even text a girl and say hey I'm coming over or hey uh, you come over he has to say hey what's your schedule like when you're free let's do this I'll take you out here he has to do the dance he has to play the game to get in your pants he has to be charismatic he has to be a smooth talker he has to be he, he has to have swag he has to know how to escalate you don't escalate very quickly with women. You take it slow and slow and slow. He has to know all these things. So that's why we that's why we measure a man's success or at least a man's success with women and we say that he's a stud when he sleeps with a lot of women because it takes work. It takes 
quality, it takes a set of skills to sleep with a lot of women. It doesn't take any skill whatsoever to open your legs to any dude who wants your vagina. So just because we fuck you doesn't mean you have any value. When you, what does give you value, however, though, is when you are able to attract a high value man and keep him for more than two months, for more than three months, for more than four months. You know what? I'll give you a standard. I'll give you a bar. I'll give you a line to meet for more than at least a year. If you can hold, if you can attract a high value man, that means you have value, ladies. That means you have the looks. That means you have the femininity. That means you have the things that the high value man wants. That means you, you, you yourself is a high quality woman, high value woman. And you can keep him for, for at least a year. Okay, now we're cooking with something. But since, but since these bitches don't want to do the self-improvement, I always talk about men doing self-improvement, but now I'm telling you ladies to do the self-improvement. And what's the self-improvement self for you? Get your ass in the gym, lose your weight. You know, there's going to be tons of guys out there who will be attracted to a skinny girl who has an ironing board ass looking at, who has an ironing board looking ass body, surfing board looking ass body, hella skinny, but, but that's attractive to a lot of men. Especially white boys. I've noticed it. Hey, I don't, I'm not here to judge who you, what you like. Whatever you like, you like it, okay? There's going to be tons of men out there who's going to be attracted to skinny girls. Tons of them. A-cup titties, mosquito bites. So, all you have to do is lose the weight. I'm not even telling you to do the squats and do your hip thrusts and get a bigger ass. Just lose the weight. It's not that easy for us men. Because we actually need to build muscle. When we have more muscle in our body, that's what makes us more attractive to more women. When you just lose your weight from being an overweight, butterball, turkey-looking-ass fat bitch, then that makes you attractive to a lot more men. Now, on top of that, if you add the factor of you staying in the gym longer and building a bigger booty as well and getting into an athletic body, losing weight doesn't necessarily put you in an athletic body. You guys understand that, right? But when you do become athletic as well after losing the weight, now you have more, even more men, even more high-value men coming after you. Us men, if we're overweight, just losing weight is not going to cut it. We have to big broad shoulders, bigger triceps, bigger biceps, bigger traps, chisel six-pack abs. Our lower body has to be proportionate with our upper body. We can't be looking like Johnny Bravo walking out and walking around here with the huge ass upper body and chicken legs so we have a lot more work to do than you do ladies so just lose the weight stay feminine stop with this i'm independent strong and independent i don't need a man bullshit attitude just stop with that get rid of it clearly it's not working out for you if it was you would not be frustrated with your relationship with your sex life with your not sex life with your love life right you would not be uh frustrated with it at all and stop opening up your fucking vagina to every man that comes in. Just because these dudes are liking your Instagram pictures doesn't mean they're high value. Just because these dudes are fucking you doesn't mean they want to date you. Doesn't even mean they, they even want a scene with you out, about, out and about in public. Have you noticed this? If a good looking guy, high value guy, comes over and bangs out a 49er, or a 4 or a 5 or a 6, and he sees her in public somewhere, in the shopping mall, wherever, they run into each other. He acts like he doesn't know her. Why? Because it's, it's embarrassing for him to be known by fat women, ugly women like this. That's why you have to lose the weight, ladies. You have to stay in your shape. And fuck your body positivity. Again, I don't give a rat's ass about that. Deep down, you know you're miserable. Deep down, you hate yourself. Because I'm not the one who has to look at you. When you come out of the shower naked, you do. You look up in the mirror and you see nothing but fat rolls. It's so much fat in your body that you could probably squeeze some oil out of it and give it to the starving kids in Africa so that they don't get deprived off of the vitamin D. So that they can use that oil from your fat cells and create into vitamin D for themselves. I'm just... I'm just <laughs> 
I'm just fucking around with that one. You guys get the idea, though, right? So, ladies, also, on top of that, stop trashing your body with junk food. Sure, you can have your cheat meal here and there, and even and be very conservative with that. Matter of fact, hire me as your personal trainer. I'll train you. I'll train your fat ass. Sure. Stop drinking alcohol. Stop binge drinking. Like, stop. Alcohol is worse than junk food. That's another video topic I can make if you want me to. If you want me to. And this is why the game is ruined. Because since we have more and more fat women, all the men are flocking to these hot women, the good looking women, the women who are in shape. Now, these women, the women who are in shape, has all the options of men to choose from, which is giving them the power to only get the guys who are high value, who they, seem who they perceive as attractive, which leaves the rest of the men frustrated. It's just fucking up the numbers. Which also leaves the rest of these fat women, majority of the women who are, because majority of women are overweight in the US. Majority of these women frustrated as well. It's fucking up the whole number game, numbers game. We're not having, we, we just don't even have the opportunities. Your average man doesn't even have the opportunities to go after the average woman because he's just not attracted to her because she's fat as hell. Looks like a fucking sea monster. And you guys on top of that add the element of strong and independent. Oh, and every man, you should want me regardless of how I look. Bitch, do you want me regardless of, regardless of how much money I make? So shut the hell up with that bullshit. Anyways, so that also makes, before I end it, that also makes the top tier high value men, that also gives the top tier high value men, the top 10% or 5% of men, all the option of women to choose from as well. But that's, we all know that, right? That's, that's like, duh. The 80, we all know the 80-20 rule, the 90-10 rule, the 95-5 rule. We all know that. But I wanted to tell you guys about the other side of the story. We just don't even have good looking women out here to even choose, to even go after. And we also know that these fat bitches out here also are going to try to make us jump through hoops. Even these fat bitches nowadays are, st are starting to require, <coughs> require dates. Take me out on a date, then we'll hang out. Bitch, get the, are you out of your goddamn mind? You should be thankful that I even looked at your way, let alone said hi. Because my balls are too damn full. So, and when men know that, when men know that these fat bitches are going to require the exact same war amount of work than a hot girl would, then why don't I just take my chips into the hot girl's women, uh, into the hot women's table? It's going to require me the same amount of work with this fat bitch, so why, don't, why am I wasting my time with her? And that's why the numbers are being so skewed. The numbers are all messed up. More and more men from all races are flocking to the good-looking women who are in very small amount of num who are who has a who make up a very small percentage of women in the U in the U.S. Fellas, follow me on Instagram at Zeke Peak. Like this video, comment on this video, share and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and above all, stay classy.